Hello, hello, hello. What's up? What's good? What's good? What's good? My sword, what's up? What's up? What's up? Hello. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you've tuned in, you should have probably heard of me buffering. Let me start over. If you tuned in, it means that you are a subscriber, a returning subscriber, or you just love the girl. Or you just love the girl. Let's just be real. Let's just be real. Oh my god, is the mic on? Give me one second. The mic stays on, bitches. That was me speaking into it. Um, yeah, you're, so, you're returning. You love me. You're my friend. You're my family. You just maybe pop this popped in somewhere on your YouTube journey. Anyway, whatever reason, whatever reason why you're here, I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you're joining the soldiers. Attention. Um, and yeah, today's episode, um, I'm feeling quite you know, enlightened and, and in a better space than I was in the previous episode. I know this two laptop situation seems like I'm a fraudster and I am frauding the community. No, I'm not. Um, it's just, this is my personal and my work laptop because I'm employed, because I need money to buy equipment and do nice things. I digress. Um, so yeah, previous vlog was a bit, the, the activities in, within it was fun, but I was a bit like, I was going through the most metro was in um power raid and it was kicking my ass it's still kicking my ass but i feel like more stronger and like more confident about it now i'm editing currently that's why i'm also I'm a bit chuffed so yeah what brings you here today no i'm supposed to tell you what brings you here today anyway welcome to the channel today we'll be doing this is like a food edition so it'll, it's just me like having fun in the kitchen chopping up, cooking up some shit, you know, just getting a feel of the oil and the butters and the aromas and the onions and the choppation. Um, and like also kind of tasting other takeout foods that I've had here. Not a lot of those, but you know, just, it, it's just numbing season. It's just eating. We're just going to be eating um, real food and not outfits and not cool looks for, for now. Um, yeah, so I'm very excited for you to be here. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's start. Let's start with a nice little food tutorial. I think this was this is this was my first meal that I had here in Dubai. Not the first meal I had. The first meal I prepared. So I was going through the most tired of takeout, and I was like, I'm done. I'm done with eating takeout. I'm a cook. I'm a get into the kitchen. I'm a burn myself with oil. I'm gonna be that girl, and. I had discovered that they stock in a parman, which is the best spice in the world here. So I was like, I was like, girl, I'm gonna be in my inner parman bag. My mom is an inner parman girly. She told me to be an inner parman baby. So I'm like, I'm gonna stockpile all of these inner parmans. Did you want a fish spice? Did you want a barbecue spice? Chicken, all of the spices. I bought them all at the same time, and I bought a couple of groceries. And this was the first meal I made. Don't judge me, okay? Don't disregard everything I said about chopation and being in the kitchen and frying some shit. Don't disregard that, okay? Don't judge me. But yeah, this was my first meal and it's like me cooking, having fun in the kitchen. <laughs>
Chopping in the kitchen, yeah, buddy. Um, that was that was yum, right? It was really good. I enjoyed shooting those. Um, I don't know, food videos just make so much sense, and you know, you can play, you can play with the angles. You can, you know, go close up without, you know, damaging the lens. It's really nice. I really like shooting food stuff. Hopefully, I'll shoot some more in my new place because where I was in those videos was in my, it was at my Airbnb when I first arrived here okay so i'm craving it's 9 oh it's 10 a.m 10 30 a.m and i'm craving chicken i wanted to order from popeyes because they've got like the crispiest chicken but it's closed it only opens at apparently midnight i don't know how true that is so i'm gonna go for kfc this is my first time i'm having kfc here in the uae i know how kfc tastes i've had mcdonald's before a couple of times hate the mcdonald's here hated with my whole life so disappointed the the one thing that people go to McDonald's for, which is for the fries, like you know those skinny fries, lightly salted, like quasi crispy with a little bit of tenderness. That's why we go to McDonald's. Like yes, the Big Macs are nice or whatever it is. The Grand Chicken spices are cool, but the fries, the fries is the best seller, and those baby burgers. But the fries here at this McDonald's in the United Arab Emirates is fucking. The fries here are pop. They're like skinny slap chips, but not even. And like the because you know how slap chips they slap with you know a little bit of vinegar and they are salty they got that salt they got that vinegar they got that je ne sais quoi here they like they wanted to be crispy and they just forgot how to be crispy they didn't know how to do their jobs and they just became soggy and there's not enough salt there's not enough salt it's like pff, i'm so disappointed i'm so it just tastes it's not the one the fries are not the one i've tried it on multiple occasions not the one um sad 
And then one thing that I feel like they couldn't get wrong, which is the Big Mac, which is the classic, the Big Mac and the baby burger, which is just your normal cheeseburger. No. I can't. I'll eat it. I'll buy it because it's affordable and it comes quickly. And, you know, if you're starving and you want a familiar taste, a familiar rich taste, I'll buy it. I'll eat it. But I won't necessarily be like, yeah, I'm craving it. It won't be a craving. It will be like, okay, out of necessity. I've had the Big Macs. They're okay. They're not the Big Macs from home. Shh, definitely not. I've had the, the baby burgers, which I feel like you can't fuck up a baby burger. You can't fuck up a cheeseburger. And I don't know, man. They fucked up a cheeseburger. It's okay. It's just okay. And I had my favorite meal from McDonald's is a grand chicken spicy with chili cheese fries and an orange juice. They don't have an orange juice. They have Vimto, which is interesting. Vimto, I think Mwangi Mali. It's like you'll drink a pop level, but not really. I don't know. People, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't want to be offensive, but it's not that It's not that great. That's my favorite meal at McDonald's. You know, you can even throw in a fold over them, spicy fold over, garlic fold over if you want, baby burgers. You know, those are my those are my shit. And then Big Mac is like the classic thing if you wanna if you don't wanna go wrong. Tell me why was was the grand chicken spicy tasting like booty? It wasn't grand. It wasn't crispy. And I think that's the thing that like hurt my feelings because we know that McDonald's has got those the, the ingredients a little bit like they taste good but we're like hmm are those real the chicken though the chicken tastes like real chicken the chicken tastes at home the grand chicken spicy the chicken patty of that grand chicken spicy tastes like fucking chicken crispy chicken spicy chicken delicious chicken. Yeah, I just ate a vegetarian thing. I was unpleased. Even the bun, I don't know. She just wasn't eating, bruh. She was not eating. It was not the square root of 69 at all. I was so sad. I'm probably, I didn't, couldn't even finish the burger. And I'm probably not going to order it again. I'm just going to stick to the classics that, you know, they kind of remind me of what I actually am used to. I don't know, I'm ranting about McDonald's at 10 a.m. And I have a meeting in four minutes but yeah that's all i wanted to say like ah, there wasn't a vibe there was not a vibe and i was really disappointed but i digressed completely the reason why i was saying i was talking about foods takeout foods that i've eaten here is i'm trying kfc for the first time as i said earlier on and not so i just want like crispy chicken that's all i want i just want chicken that is crispy that is yummy that's all does this KFC, this is a first, bro. I don't know. I was so shocked when I was busy looking through this menu. But check a look at, take a look at that. Take a look at that. Can you see that? That's a shrimp box. At Kentucky Fried Chicken, they have shrimp boxes. They have surf and turf. What? So I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it. This is going to be the last installment of the food edition. Me having this fucking. I'm going to have like maybe three. I love shrimp. So I'm going to have fish from KFC. Bro, if I leave this place with food poisoning, you better call my emergency contact. Nur Hussein. Tell her that I'm dead in my apartment. I'm dead on the ground. Also call my mom and tell her that, you know, she's not going to see her kitty anymore because... If this doesn't go right, if this doesn't go right, I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to be so mad. But yeah, let's get into it. Oh, 
Cause you can never do my vibe But there is no sacrifice Everything was taken You had to make it Vibe killer Me and no go take shit Vibe killer I was like, okay, let me quickly get this out and then I can eat three hours later. So I'm going to order the food now. I think I've used up all my my energy in the first half of the day. So now everyone else can just go suck a dick. And it took you well. <laughs> What do we have to work for a living? Why can't I just make this my living? I want to. I want to make this my living. <laughs> so, uh, writing takes long, guys. Writing takes long because words mean things. Like if I use the wrong phrase or I like call something... I call a fucking, I need to make sure, for example, a gazelle is part of wildlife or else I'm lying. Or like, yo, I know this is like out of context. You don't know what's going on. Welcome to the brain of a writer. Like you need to sense check, double check everything that you write to make sure that you're not like over promising or like lying. Basic lying. Yo, I'm so tired. I, like I wanted this chicken at 9 a.m. It's fucking 1 p.m. now and I haven't gotten it So let me order so I can fucking eat So uh, guys, I've been trying to do this thing where I don't order food from places that I know or recognize so like your nando's there's a nando's here i don't order food from nando's so i have not yet and kfc and mcdonald's um and whatever other brand i recognize so i've been trying something new but today i almost cracked like right now i'm almost I almost cracked because i'm like all i want all my heart wants like in terms of a comfort food is like wings like wings is babai like zinger wings or something because i won't get chicken <laughs> so wings um and i was like no let me try new wing places so i'm about to try this new wing place oh not new i'm gonna try a new spot called wing stop wing stop and I'm gonna get 14 wings. <laughs> go big or go home if you're gonna try, you must try. 
you mustn't try with like four try with like 14 so i'm gonna try that and i will let you know what the vibe is i should have been doing this the whole time i should have just been showing the because i've ordered like a couple of like very different meals um asian food um sushi some were, i've even ordered like boba tea some were oh, i can't even say some were hits some were new, new they were all new experiences i think the the very first meal i had in dubai which was an egg fried rice with um was egg fried rice and the spring rolls is e3 that slapped that really slapped and i was really surprised i was like oh i almost had burger king and i was like no man this is when this whole thing started so i was like no let me do something different so i had that meal at the airport and it was good so I, my expectations have always been high since that point but you know since then it's just been rocky it's been new tastes like even with the like real food like the um tina like well i've been I ha i've i've made a one grocery shop and it was it was a simple grocer um i bought all my necessities but anyway i i bought like a garlic butter situation and the garlic butter just don't slap i don't know i miss willies i miss willies i miss checkers i actually know more than anything i miss i miss Woolworths because the the ingredients were fresh <laughs> not to say they're not fresh here but you know i didn't like everything was good like there was a guarantee and i haven't learned what is the willies of dubai yet time will tell but yeah i'm watching kung fu panda oh, that was such a also need to iron those clothes never mind those I'm watching kung fu panda because and as man i'm just feeling like i need a comfort i'm watching like i've been watching movies that i've like loved my life um so I'm, I'm in a comfort season right now maybe it's because i'm gonna be on my period soon so my emotions my emotions they are a lot they are a lot like listening to music that i used to love and like i was in high school watching movies i used to enjoy i don't know this season is very much um the rememory if i can call it that the rememory season where i tap into parts of myself that i don't know i forgot about because yeah when life moves and carries on you learn so many new different things adopt new things based on the people you meet and are around and i feel like you just keep evolving as a person so now not to say i'm not evolving but i am tapping into my past self and yeah I've always liked her, so it's nice to be with her again. Yo, so what that happens? Yeah, I'll show you how it goes. What's up? Been a minute since we kicked it, you've been caught up. With the bitches, I don't get it, you're a star love. You try to not to deal with that. I'll never make you feel like that. For the both of us That's why you trust me I know you've been through more than most of us So what are you What are you, what are you so afraid of? You cannot take love. You can, you can, you can put a hundred and funny. Anything I said, I stand for me. In a private lane, I stand for me. Who did they call me? I'm calling. To the fuck up with a pump for me. To the gun, I'm stuck with a gun. It's nothing that's all about me. Yeah. I needed to hear that shit, I hate when you're submissive Passive aggressive when we're texting, I feel the distance I look around and peers that surround me, these niggas tripping I like when money makes a difference, but don't make you different Started realizing a couple places I could take it 
I wanna get back to when I was that kid in the basement. I wanna take it deeper than money, pussy, vacation. And influence a generation that's lacking in patience. I've been dealing with my dad speaking a lack of patience. Just me and my old man getting back to basics. We've been talking about the future and time that we wasted. When he put the bottle down, girl, that nigga's amazing. Well, fuck it, we had a couple coronas. We might have wrote a white paper, just something to hold us. We even talked about you and our couple of moments. He said we should hash it out like a couple of grown ups. I hate that thing. When you're shooting and like, oh my gosh, when you're shooting in slow-mo and then you forget to take it out of slow-mo and now you just shoot a whole long video in slow-mo. I'm so upset. But anyway, I'm not sure if I shot the previous video in slow-mo. Probably did. But the ranch slaps. The honey mustard tastes like honey mustard. So I'm going to try the ranch. With this, so okay, my verdict the last time. <laughs> I'll see if I can speed up the last footage, but original, okay, it's mid. I gave it a, I gave it a five. It's not hot, doesn't do anything, and somehow it feels, smells, and tastes a bit familiar. So, I mean, the business of trying new things. The habanero mango, however, that girl is a star. So I'm gonna try this, which is my least favorite wing, with my now favorite ranch oh dip okay let me just get let's get that oh my god that looks so inappropriate okay mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. with the ranch with the ranch Fucking food coming. It's here. All I need to do is eat. Okay, so let's go through it. I also got a bunch of sauces. This is a garlic mayo. I feel like they got something else on there. This. Ranch. Still garlic mayo. I don't get it. They're supposed to give me sweet chili. Oh wait, there's more. Okay, yo. You see this thing? I'm sure good daily ready, but there's a lot of chips. I didn't think it's gonna be a lot. So this is just fries. Skinny fries, even. I eat it, but they just didn't get it. You drunk? Can you see? Like the box is battered up because of the steam. I swear this thing was ready a while ago. I'm annoyed. I'm hella annoyed. Look at this presentation. No, can't see fucking sucks. Where's my sweet chili? Okay, taste test. Where am I? Who's fucking man is this? I'm so angry. Oh shit, sorry for I complain. The um, deep fried shrimp is really good. It's really good. It's giving like. <laughs> Have you ever had fish that tastes like chicken? It's giving that. Like. They just did everything that they would normally do with chicken and just put it in shrimp instead of creating a, 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 a fish specific thing. So it's just like KFC fish. I'm 
I'm back with the slasher. Back with my treasels. Treasels on the with the trees. It's um, artificial, as I probably said too many times. So, I wanted to just wrap this up. Just wrap the cooking in the kitchen segment up by saying I'm still trying to find... I'm still trying to find my feet in terms of good food here. I have not found it. Um, the best bit in terms of having like that deliciousness is to make it your own. <laughs> is to make it your own. Just make your own food. Put your spices. Take out places that are going to disappoint you. Um... Not always though, but they will disappoint you. Cooking is exhausting. Takeout is more convenient. So you're gonna have, if you're in the cycle, I don't know why I like being here. When there's a whole train outside and cars and people, I don't know why I like recording outside, but it's just nice. The lighting is always great. If you want to have like an enriching food experience i feel like maybe i need personally for me i need to be more intentional in that so like maybe i need to go to like really pretty restaurants um like go to the place for the food more than the aesthetic i haven't gone to a restaurant where i'm like oh yeah no i have <laughs> it was the summer of 89 i have gone to a few restaurants which look nice and i one, thinking that the food is also going to be nice and it wasn't so yeah when it comes to eating here explore um i feel like you will be safer with food that you prepare yourself because you you like your own taste yeah, well, you like your own things um i'm gonna be more intentional to find food spots that are really good like restaurants that are really like you know, I don't want to have to go to the high-end restaurants to get high-end food or just good food. And I feel like they are there. I wish I just knew exactly where. So it's like been a series of trial and error. Like this KFC was a fucking disappointment. So, yeah. Thank you for joining me in the food edition. The cooking in the kitchen. Cooking in the kitchen. Cooking in the kitchen. Uh, edition of Sajan Curated. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get inspired to like go in the kitchen and uh, whip something up. If you're not, then it's fine. It's okay. I uh, hope you join me on the next one. The next one is going to be about uh, me moving. Moving out of my old... No, it's not even an old apartment. The Airbnb. From Airbnb to hotel to where I stay now, my permanent residential, which is interesting and fun and cool and, and nice, you know. I'm independent, so let's go 50 50. Um, so, yeah, that's gonna be nice. And then after that, I don't know, you just have to stay tuned and see what the vibes are gonna be. What the vibes are gonna be. I'm fighting in my tree. Falling in my trees Falling in my trees